Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another video from Roseville today. We are still working on this little village here next to the castle here which we yet haven't named. I've gotten a lot of great names suggestions, I just haven't had uh, the time to sit down and, uh, and validate all of them. Figure out which one I like the most, so you still have time to commit your, um, your best suggestion for what to call this keep here or castle within the village of Roseville um, so feel free to do that down below guys or in my discord channel I've been building another house since the last time a diagonal one like this very happy with how that turned out a uh, small little one like that and uh, been also adding a lot of farms in the back here like that just expanding I really want this whole village to be completely surrounded by um, farms and vegetation and stuff like that so from above it looks pretty good as well and it's just gonna continue to, to have some farms all the way around here so for today's little episode I want to build this little house here on the outskirts of the town here it's gonna be a uh, similar style as these ones obviously uh, and I think that the materials we're gonna use are these ones so um, yeah don't think there's too much to that other than just trying to shape it up a little bit like we did with the one we built um, not too long ago and it's gonna probably look a little bit like this one uh, it has the same shape when it comes to like the diagonal parts of it um, but we're gonna change it up when it comes to color and blocks and stuff so let's just do that and start by placing some blocks I'm gonna start off by just doing the foundation here out of uh, the bricks here I'm going to dig it down a little bit just so we actually can squeeze in a little basement or just some storage below the main building here which is going to be elevated a little bit up from the, the ground floor here or from the, the ground I guess do that and just fill that up with bricks all the way around like so there we have the foundation of the build and from here I'm just gonna expand upwards three blocks with this which is going to be the main material of this build here then we're gonna go back in and carve out some details add some I think I'm gonna do something to the corners and we're also gonna add a detailed trim uh, like this one I, I think that's gonna look good um, we'll have to see kind of how it works when we fill it all in with a different blocks and stuff but to start off it's uh, I don't think it crashes too much with the rest of the colors here it might though it might be a little too bright let's see if there's another one um, I've used this one already over here I think and I don't want to have the same details all over the place yes alright so let's not use that one let's see if there's another block we can use to detail the top trim here uh, if there is any that could work uh, we could use this one uh, we could use that one probably um, and there are a lot of these where are they these ones here that could work as a detail trim as well possibly like that one or that one so that's not too far off when it comes to color at least uh, here is that one that's not too bad and how is nah that's way too straight for my likings here um, and that's just too repetitive I think it has to be either this one or this one I think I like the last one best like that let's see how that looks like so yeah I think I'll go for that one so I just added the walls and all the sides and the top trim like that and uh, I think actually that's gonna work pretty well so um, yeah let's go with that one at least to start off with we can of course go back and change it. That's the beauty of Minecraft. So that we can always redo stuff 
Uh, for I want to have these wooden parts which we have on all the different buildings here like that one or whoa, Trying to control the zoom here uh, or like that one and What kind of planks we should use for that? It's built on the diagonal so we cannot use um, These ones because they're not really good on diagonals um, and I want to have something that is Doesn't have like a frame in it like you see these ones here they have like this frame so it looks kind of odd when you have many next to each other it looks good if you just stack them like that or like nah not really like that either um but these ones don't have a frame on them but i think like the gray one is not too good i think um no don't like that one well, maybe. Um, let's just give it a rough like shape up here and see how it will look. Um, it's like not too bad, but it's not the, the vibe I, I want here. So let's take that away and just see how this one works. I think we, we could go with the same as we did on the first build. Um, I don't think that's a big problem. It's so far away from each other that you can barely see them. Uh, and yeah, that's that one. And then we also have the birch planks. How does these look? Hmm, that's an interesting block. I kind of like that one. Plain light birch. What's the difference here? Okay, let's go for the dark one. Let's, let's try that. And actually go all the way in with that to begin with here. So the thing is that I like to do these out of vertical slats. Just a little bit. Um, like that. And I think I'm going to do it like so. How did I do that over here? I did two and then two and then all right five okay so it's not a perfect diagonal at least not on that part but uh, we can live with that so we do that up up like that and then it's very bright but I think once we kind of get the darker framing around it uh, it's not gonna look too bad so if we take this one here which is a frame I use uh, and just place that on here like so and then add some frames to the actual building here Yes, perfect. And then you go there. Perfect. How does that look? Um, that's not too bad. Let's go for that one. So we just put on the roof here, and I just want to show you something that you might enjoy a little bit. Uh, just a way to make your roofs come alive a lot more and that is to go in with some darker thatch like this and then just replace especially the bottom parts uh, I've talked a little bit about this before and trying to make like this um, where like areas where the water would kind of fall down in a way um, and that makes this uh, roof just come alive a lot more because uh, thatch normally rots over time and especially the parts that are mostly uh, or has the most water running over it so just adding some of the different um, 
color touch here just makes it look more dynamical and more realistic in a way and even though the color is so vague you can barely see the difference between them uh, it uh, it adds a lot to um, to the build so that is that uh, I don't have too much more time today honestly so we're going to be quick here uh, one thing that we're going to do is to add these just all the way around here like that and do the same on the opposite side here like so and then we're going to add these support like that over here where we bring these up to there and up to there and then every other is this uh, beam then the other one is the cross beam and we do it like that perfect then what we're also going to do is to go in and add some of the window window frames uh, i think we're going to go for the red ones here because we kind of go for the pink and red coloring here uh, and then shutters, I think I'm going to go for the regular one here. So we add that there and add a little shutter like so. Uh, we'll do a window here as well. Uh, maybe... Uh, let's just do one there. Uh, and then we'll do one here. And then here we're going to kind of go in and sneaky add one. Like so. Uh, and just add a few of those around. Those have to change possibly once we start to the interiors because uh, you don't want to make the windows in odd places. You want to make sure that the windows actually make sense in a way. So uh, often you want to do the interiors actually before you start adding the windows. But just to kind of get in the style here, I think we can do uh, something like that. And then I just want to add these corner pieces to the build. Um, just to, to bring out them a little bit and for that I'm going to use how is brown stucco for that not too bad I, I feel like we need a little bit different lock on the top here but what if I do that no uh, okay what if I just bring that over yeah, that works. Bring that all the way down, and I guess we'll bring that one all the way down as well. Like so, and then on this side here. Bring it down. Like so. And then what I also like to do is to add some... Uh, depth to the walls by adding these just climbing up like that for supporting the corners the corners are the most vulnerable places of a building so yeah it kind of makes sense to have some extra protection and uh, support there so yeah it's a kind of cute little building here not too much but it's definitely fitting the style here uh, and of course as usual, I'm always working with the builds a long time after I kind of build them to to add that uh, character to them. But that's not something I have time for in these type of episodes here. So uh, yeah, that is all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo, man. And I'm out.